Today's case is the initial S. It looks like a French letter ash. This is its IPA symbol. It's pronounced as English speakers can use the baseline. The French cannot use the, but you can use your famous R. When goes after a vowel at the end of the word, it can lose its vibration like a leaf. And this voiceless counterpart is represented by this IPA symbol. Look how similar these two symbols already are. The differences is the point of articulation. The French version is slightly further back than the Chinese version. These two sounds are so close. So if you replace the Chinese with the French voice list, you are almost there, like at the level of 80% correctness. And that's a very good starting point. And from there afterwards, you do the fine tuning when you can really hear the differences. When you can hear the differences, you will make the differences. This is your Chinese case consultant, Triple C. Bring me a case by asking me a question. If I open your case, I will close it for you.